Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're working on a cake topper and also <clears throat> some straws that will kind of go on the party decor table. So this is a new concept, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out. So when I don't really know, I usually cut out a bunch of different things, different colors, and you can kind of see I'm working with this. Um, but I wanna put it together so that you can kind of see the thought process and how to do something if if this was to be the final concept. <laughs> so, all right, uh, hopefully you recognize right off the bat the theme, it's American Girl Doll. Um, it is for my daughter's birthday, it's not for another month, so I have some time to tinker around with this, but um, yeah, there's not a lot to go on because um, I guess maybe if you had an American Girl Doll party, you would just do it at their place. Uh, but with the quarantine, we're not going to go there. So we are going to bring an American Girl doll party to her uh, with like a party of two. <laughs> but anyway, that's not the point. All right. So the first thing is I cut out a bunch of different versions and I kind of just layered it because, you know, with a cake topper, the first thing that you need to make sure you have is uh, stability, right? You don't want this to flop over or anything like that. So I... I was going to address that by having kind of like an overall background with the name on it and then all these little thin um, all these little thin pieces of the hexagon would kind of sit on top like this because white is part of the of the um, theme or the colors and so I thought maybe a full white background would be good. Originally, I only did three colors, but it felt so pale. You can't even see it with the lights on right now. So I had to add this little um, color down. And it's, I don't even know how to describe this color. It's part of Cricut's glitter. So it's not the red one. And it's, it's I guess it's sort of like magenta. So anyway, I thought that was the closest one to American Girl doll. I think in the end, I'm gonna need one more of this. So this is 110 pound cardstock, so you can see it's a little bit sturdier. Normally with glitter cardstock, this would have been fine, but I opted for like a really uh, thin design, so I'm gonna pay for it. <clears throat> this is worthless, no structure whatsoever. So I have two of them. So let's start by, I've already got my glue gun down because going because everything is glitter you're going to need your hot glue gun the glue is not i don't i don't like the way glue works but um double-sided tape isn't going to work so anyway so i'm going to go with that all right so with this um here i think i'm going to need the two layers just to i mean the two layers is pretty pretty stable but i think i'm going to need a third layer to go in the back so that um the the sticks will come down and then I'm gonna have another layer to hold everything. So, um, all right, but let's work with this. So with this, I am going to use, I'm gonna use double-sided tape for now, for, for the white on white. So let me get that out. And apparently I have it out already because it's not where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Ah, it's Christmas time, right? That's what I'm going to blame it on. So I'm going to use instead, what I do have out is my double-sided tape here. So I'm going to be cutting little strips here. We're only going to do a few of these, so that's why I'm not, um, I won't mind doing this. I just want a little strip here and then... So that's gonna go down like this. And then I think I'm gonna hit it. Okay, my glue gun's hot enough. I'm going to, wah! <sighs> that was like a dry drip. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. And I'm only doing the top half because because of the way this is to, uh, the cutouts, I know that I can get that down and then I can lift this up and get this bottom part down. I don't want this to dry out on me before I have a chance to really glue it down. So that's why I'm doing it. I really want this to be a sturdy um, 
construction, I guess. So I want the glue hot and I, you know, sometimes you have to work really fast with that. Okay, so we've got this down. So the next thing is that I know I want the name on top and then, oh, let me pull this for you really quickly. The goal of this cake topper is for it to spin like the Mario Brothers coins. So the stars are gonna be spinning. There's gonna be six stars, because she's turning six. Originally, I was even gonna have the six spin, but I don't think that's gonna work. I think the six is too heavy, and I think I want to, on that third layer, I'm going to weld a six to it so that my six is not too heavy, but we'll see. This is a work in progress. So. This is down, let's do this next. And I will need my glue, okay. So originally I only had the three colors, so you can see the one, two, and three. But I have one more color to add. So we can just put this down in any order. Um, I do want my, I'm gonna use this one for now, hopefully I'm not out of this. So it's just so that I can run it along the lines and it's a little bit easier to use. So I'm gonna put this up here, make it my, Scratch paper out. And with the stars, you know, with this piece, I'm really going for a layered look and I want the spinning stars. That's kind of the thing. Cause I, you know, with the American Girl doll theme, there's, first of all, they only have a star as their logo. I mean, I guess I could do um, print and, oh my gosh, is this not working? Okay, there. Um, print and cut with some of the dolls, but I don't know if they, they don't really have like a main doll, right? And then all they have is the star. So I kind of felt like I needed to add a little bit more to this. And I don't think this is, this one's going to work for me. Here it is. All right. So this is the Tombow one. I definitely prefer this one. And oh yeah, much better. <laughs> all right. So here's our piece. So we're gonna need the thread for later. That's gonna, um, that's how we're gonna have the stars spin. So you just wanna lay this down. Okay, our first layer is down. I think I'm gonna do this one next because it matches the name and I kinda want it in the back. So we'll do this one next. And I had ripped this coming off the mat. So when you're do, if when you have this happen, it, it's going to be really thin right here. So just make sure you have a a lot of support before you run this tape. Okay. And I think even right here, I'm going to try to get it down, get it to stick there. Okay. I know, I, I wanted to go for this look, this thin. I'm the one that sliced this out this thin to begin with, so it's definitely my own fault, but I just thought it was gonna be so pretty this way. Okay, so this one I'm gonna lay down first. Let's do the next layer. I'm gonna do the white. I really should do this. And you can always go back to your design to fix it. So like in this case, <clears throat> I didn't have the sixes floating, right? Um, so that's not gonna work. I, I'm just gonna go back and weld it. So we can always go back and sort of, you know, 
make adjustments to the design. Okay, so I'm gonna go across first here. And once this one's down, everything else falls down accordingly, sort of, yeah. That's okay. Okay, and then we have our last one, our pink one. Our pink one doesn't really have a spot, so our pink one can go however. You just need to make sure that it gets a lot of tape. So now with our name, with the name, everything is going to get layers. So what I mean by that is I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to use my glue gun. Or actually in this case, I can use glue dots because it's going on here. So give me one second to pull out my glue dots. And I don't see it off the top of my head. <laughs> so at a quick glance, I'm going to create my own glue dots. So I'm going to use uh, the glue gun and I'm going to do little dots and let it dry. And so as it dries, it's going to harden and it's going to give me like this much space. I'm going to do that for all my letters. So I'm going to flip everything over. The top layer of the pink is not because it's so thin. I'm just going to glue that down. But you see my white layer, it's thick enough to add a little bit more layer. And the more layers you have and the more... Um, like depth that you're able to create. It's just gonna give you that look that's really polished and kind of like put together. So I definitely want to try to achieve that. And with this, you know, there's not that much to this, to this design other than lots of, sh um, lots of layers. It's the same shape, right? It's my hexagon and it's the same four colors and they're just stars. So even my stars, each star is multiple layers. So you can kind of see that. So we're gonna be adding um, the spacers to that as well. So this is going to be quite the labor of love, <laughs> but it's going to be worth it. I hope, it's not even the final version. This is my first attempt at this theme overall so I haven't had an order for this yet hopefully after this I will all right I'm gonna add two here just to make it more okay so this should be yep so it should be dry it's gonna come up and it's gonna stick up like this okay so let's do this And you kind of want to keep your hand down here so that it dries evenly. And it only takes a few seconds for it to dry. So we've got that down. Okay. And then now we're going to layer on this. It's kind of sticking up a little bit. I don't really like that. I bent it pulling it off the mat, so it's sticking up a little bit. Okay. All right, so let's put down our next layer. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but it's really coming together. I love the colors. Um, I added the blue. I know the blue is not part of American Girl, but um, I love this blue and this glitter cardstock. So I feel like, 
I'm not gonna add too much blue, but a little blue here and there, and I think it's gonna help with the colors to not get completely washed out with just pinks. Now, if you remember the A and the R, it only had two glue dots. So you wanna make sure that when you're placing it down, that it that you're placing it parallel to the table so that it it's not gonna be like this, right? So it's going to give you a, um, a parallel surface. <laughs> All right, so let's go and do this one. Because you have a moment before it dries. So that's going to give you like this L only has one dot. So I want to make sure it dries flat. Okay. two T's. And I do recommend when you're doing your name and the number that you're doing three layers. It really does give you that extra. First of all, it's easier to read because you have the, the color outline. So already with Charlotte, it looks really good. With this third layer on top, even though it's going to be a pale pink, you're going to be able to catch the, the different layers and it's just going to be so pretty. Okay. All right. I, I'm, I'm starting to fall in love with this. Okay. All right. So this one, we're just going to put on top, it's gonna to lay flat. I know you can barely even see it with the light. Um, but with this, I'm just going to have my glue gun right here and I'm gonna run it underneath just to get enough on here for it to stick. And I'm almost wondering if I should be using the tool so that I'm not gonna burn my hand. I'm so nervous about glue gun burns. All right, here we go. So you can see it's, ah. Um, I wish I was ordering a bigger cake, but since there's not going to be anybody here, <laughs> I can't order a big cake. So my cake topper is a little bit smaller than usual for her. Um, I would have loved to have done this top layer with, you know, glue dots and making it stand out a little bit more. Uh, Okay, so we need to finish that, but let's get to the stars. So I was thinking for the bigger stars, this would go on and it would just be on display, which I think would be so cute. So let's work on this. So on this, it's super easy. Same thing like everything else, we are going to create lots of layers. So on the back of these, I want a glue dot for each one. And for now, I'm gonna do two sets. So let's do this one as well. I'm gonna move these over. So the big stars are for the straws. And then the mini ones are gonna be rotating in the cake topper.
And it's just the little details, like adding a little bit of depth to these stars just gives it that not so flat look. And so with everything having a little bit more oomph to it, it just gives it a very polished look when you have everything pieced together. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm going to pick this up in a second. I'm going to let it dry and then I'll pick it up. <clears throat> it's stacked up like this much right now, like this. <laughs> so it really makes a difference. Okay. So I'm thinking it might be a drive-by party. I don't know, we'll see, my poor daughter. Poor everybody, right? <clears throat> First world problems to even worry about a party, so. Okay, I'm gonna let that one dry. This one's probably pretty dry. So I'm gonna pick this one up. And do you see like, there's just layers to this. It makes a difference. All right, so I'm gonna put it down here. It's gonna be so pretty. Okay, so let's see. I feel like I'm gonna glue the straw. And these might just be um, like on the table or in a mason jar type thing with a few of them. And then for any straws that you actually drink from, I think I'll be separate. <laughs> I think these are just purely for decoration. All right, let's look at this one. And you see how like the thickness, I mean, they're just stars, but it, you know, it really pops out. So I'm gonna do this one as well. So cute, look at that. Let's do one more just so that I have it for the pictures. <laughs> All right, so let's flip these over and then we'll get back to, we'll do the stars and start adding one or, we'll do the three stars up here so that you can see how to make them spin. While we're letting that dry, let's do one of our smaller stars over here. Um, I'm gonna do this one. So these, I mean, they get really small. I mean, you can see that belongs like on my pinky nail. So that one's probably gonna lay flat, but if I can, I'm gonna at least do this second layer. And then you're going to want to have the back side because as it spins, you, you're, you don't want a front side and a back side. You want both sides to be pretty, right? So let's make sure that we have the back to this one. And I'll do that one. And then while this is drying, what you want to do is you want to cut We'll cut longer because you can always cut it shorter later, trim it. So we'll just cut one piece like this. Oh my gosh, my, my scissors need to go. Okay, so it's basically going to be, the string is gonna be hanging from here and the name and the, this is gonna be in between the stars. So this is our star. This is the, um, the middle layer, right? Or the back layer. So we're gonna have this one on top and this one on top. 
So behind it, you're gonna have this one and one smaller one. So I'm gonna grab a small one right here. Okay. All right, so let's piece this together. Well, let's finish this star. So this one I'm gonna turn over. myself do you ever have had hot glue on your fingernail oh my gosh okay and you see how that was really uneven so I'm gonna try to fix it and make it dry flat there okay so I'm gonna pick this one up and you see there's I mean, it's just a lot of layers, so it makes it really, really pretty. Okay, so let's do this one. And even though the back layer is white and then you have the pink glitter, a pale pink, it doesn't quite stand out, but when you have a bunch of them like this, it just puts everything together. So that's why I did it like that. All right. So let's work on this little guy over here. So first off is this star. So I'm gonna hold it like this. Let's get it down. Okay, and this one is so teeny tiny. Okay, so that's one side, right? So we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do this side. So this side needs the string. So we're going to put it just right in the middle. So put your glue right in the middle. Then we'll put glue on this so it's going to go like that Then our top layer. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry for a second. While that's drying up here, let's finish out the letters. And we're not gonna do all the stars. I'm gonna do one because it, then it's the same thing. Um, but let's layer the six right now. So with the six, I think I'm just going to do, should we do four layers? It's kind of special, right? It's the big deal, it's her number. So, all right. So let's layer this. So I did not get a clean cut on my on this layer for some reason. So I'm just gonna push it back. Okay. And then these, I'm going to make sure I have my glue dots. Okay. 
So that's good. Let's finish up these letters while we're waiting for everything else to dry. My L is crooked, dang it. <laughs> okay. I mean, it dries quickly. Okay. done. Okay, so I'm going to pick this up so that you can kind of see it. And then you can see over here the layers. So even though it's just a few things going on right now, it's got a lot of layers and it's really popping up and the name is so easy to read. So I, I love it. <laughs> okay, so let's do the six. The six should be... Do the white layer. I mean, this six is thick. <laughs> All right, so let's look at this. So what you want to do with this is your string needs to be tight, okay? So we want to, and I'm only going to do one because I don't know my placement for sure yet. So I'm going to turn this over and what you want to do is, like I said, we want it tight. So I'm going to do the bottom, you know what, I'm going to do the top first because there's less room. So let's just glue this down. And then we'll pull it tight on this side where there's more room. So this we're just going to let dry. Let's look at these little guys for now. I mean, that's going to look so cute together. And while we're waiting for this, might as well do this little guy. So this guy is missing one more star. Let's see if I can find. Okay. So let's do these two. Let me get one more straw out. And we could even do a six on here. But I mean, I need the six, <laughs> so we're not. But, um, and I'm going to continue. I'm going to do a shake. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do the shaker right now too. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, is that going to work? Yes. All right. So let's see. Um, okay, this. Just 
still drying. I just made a hot mess. And then one more little one on top. I'm going to do this little pink one. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. Okay, so this one I think is dry. All right. So what you want to do is you want to make sure it's tight because, let me lift it up some. So you see how it can twist over? So you just want to make sure this is really tight. So I'm going to hold it like this while I glue it down to make sure that it's tight. And while it's drying, I'm just pulling on it. I just want to make sure it's tight as can be. And then you can see this, the stars want to move, so it's going to be cute. It's going to give us that like movement that we want. <clears throat> and then we can trim off the string once everything is dry. I think we're good. I'm gonna flip it over. And you can see that there's the, I'll be cute. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this down. All right. <clears throat> ah! <laughs> Still drying, okay. Pretty good. Um. Okay. Let's get this one down and then I'll do the shaker and then we'll be done. So there are four stars, star straws. Okay, let me grab the acetate paper. All right, so here are all our layers. So we want to put our, our foam down to our acetate, and then that way we can put our sequins in here. And then we're going to put this on top. Oops, we're going to put this on top. And then we'll have this on top and then you'll have the sequins in the middle. We do have a middle foam thing, so hold on, let me grab that. Here's the middle of this one, and where is my foam? Oh man, what did I do with it? Oh, I think I lost it. So we won't be able to totally complete it, but what you want to do is, I do like using my double-sided tape for this. Hold on, it was just here, give me a second. It's been like this since the holidays. I have to admit, I am not fully here. <laughs> my mind is on a bazillion presents and everything else that needs to be done. All right, so let's kind of put this together. I'm gonna see if it like comes up somewhere. Uh, I might have to do another video for that one. All right, so here's the six. We could... I'm not sure where I want this six. So once I figure out if I want to attach it to the, the name, then what I will do is on this back layer, 
I'm going to weld a copy of the six to it so that the six has a place to sit, just like the name Charlotte. So even though this layer was non-existent, it was covered by this um, magenta back layer, it will be the same for this six wherever we decide to put it to make it really stable so that our six isn't like pulling down the cake topper. Because right now everything, if you can feel it, everything, it's not flimsy. So that's what we want. And if we have that third layer on there, it'll be even better. So that's going to be so pretty. Okay. All right. Well then I think we are done for now. I hope this kind of gives you a feel for the cake topper. The only thing that's left is, you know, obviously putting the rest of the stars down, which you saw how to do that, um, and putting the six down is where to put your, your, um, your dowel. So depending on where I put my six, I think I might have it run from the, the name to the six and then the stick straight down. That's most likely what I would do. And this will be strong enough with just one, one stick. Um, all right, let me know what you think, comments, questions, and if you have a special request, I would love to help you with that. Um, just post it here. And then you can also send me additional details to anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, bye.